The Sydney Opera House was once thought of as ugly. It was so shocking and so strange that people couldn't stand it and regard it as ugly. But as we've gotten used to it, as we've started to realise that it isn't that unusual, in fact, that there's a pattern to it, that those curves repeat at different scales, and it's got this wonderful symmetry, as well as a great backdrop. A lot of people think that beauty is entirely in the eye of the beholder and that we each see things differently. But in fact, there's a lot of science behind it. And one famous but slightly disputed theory about that is Berlin's curve that identifies the right level of visual complexity across the bottom of the axis and the right level of attraction across the vertical axis. So basically, we tend to love buildings with just enough visual interest, while buildings which are too basic or too complex less so. As the Sydney Opera House became familiar to us, it wasn't seen as overly complex anymore and moved along the line this way. So have we stopped making great buildings or is it just a matter of time before we find today's architecture beautiful? One of the funny things about beauty and architecture is that more of it is not necessarily better. If the Sydney Opera House is the world's most beautiful building, if we put a hundred of them side by side, it doesn't make it a hundred times beautiful. It probably makes it a hundred times less interesting.